In his State of the Union address in 2016, President Obama pledged a new national effort to find a cure for cancer, the Cancer Moonshot. Here are the 14 technologies and trends that could help achieve this, saving millions of lives. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the medical future. In 2015, Obama announced the launch of the Precision Medicine Initiative, a bold new research effort to revolutionize how we improve health and treat disease. These two strategies together hold the promise of curing cancer or at least transforming it into a manageable chronic disease. Many disruptive innovations already in development have the power to transform the status quo in cancer, enabling patients to get more personalized and faster cancer care by letting physicians do their job more effectively. Let's see them. Prevention and diagnosis. Cancer diagnosis must be early and accurate. This requires great healthcare facilities, new diagnosis technologies, and also the proactivity of patients. Fluid biopsy. During cancer treatments, rebiopsies are needed many times. It means a new sample from the ever-changing tumor must be obtained to define the next step of the therapy. With the current invasive biopsy techniques, this is a huge challenge not only for patients but also for caregivers. Fluid biopsy extracts cancer cells from a simple blood sample. As Illumina, the DNA sequencer giant, just announced a spin-off focused solely on making fluid biopsy commercially viable, it might be the next big thing in oncology. Real-time cancer diagnostics. An intelligent surgical knife, the eye knife, was developed at the Imperial College of London and works by using an old technology where an electrical current heats tissue to make incisions with minimal blood loss, but with eye knife, the vaporized smoke is analyzed by a mass spectrometer to detect the chemicals in the biological sample. This allows real-time identification of malignant tissue. Understanding genetic and lifestyle causes of diseases. By getting a clear knowledge about what genetic and environmental factors lead to the different types of cancers, including the given patient's own genetic makeup, it would be possible to catch cancer in its infancy. This requires process innovation in healthcare, as well as more precise and specific cancer biomarkers supported by better screening technologies. Treatment. Effective cancer care must be available to all, but most of today's treatments either cause serious side effects or only buy patients a few months of survival at enormous prices. Next generation targeted therapies. In the case of AIDS, combining drugs with different targets resulted in the treatment that finally put a dent in the disease. Research shows the same applies to cancer, but combining the increasing number of cancer therapies has so far proven difficult due to the sheer number of possible combinations. New approaches in the field of systems biology that use computer models to predict therapy effects are promising to cut through this complexity and deliver effective combinational therapies in the coming years. All the while, new approaches like immunotherapies put emphasis on making the patient's immune system sensitive to cancer cells again, this way letting the immune system fight back. Molecular cancer diagnostics. Companies like Foundation Medicine are creating customized treatment plans based on the genetic makeup of the patient's tumor. They sequence DNA from the patient's tumor and try to match the key mutations to drugs on the market or clinical trials already on the way. Over time, this will become the standard for assigning cancer treatment regimes. Artificial intelligence-based therapy design. No oncologist can see through the millions of studies and thousands of clinical trials by keeping all of the patient's parameters and mutations in mind. Artificial intelligence algorithms can. IBM supercomputer Watson has been used in oncology for years, finding the most personalized treatment by sifting through all available evidence in minutes. Multifunctional radiology. Without doubt, the future belongs to interdisciplinary innovations. Neurosurgeons in San Diego used magnetic resonance imaging MRI guidance for delivering gene therapy as a potential treatment for brain tumors. 
Similar innovations in treatment delivery would decrease side effects significantly while boosting treatment effectiveness. In silico trials. Current clinical trials take years and cost more than $2 billion for every approved treatment. The number of failed drug candidates is enormous, so spending years and millions on a clinical trial is no guarantee it will lead to an approved treatment. This is a huge risk for pharma companies. In silico trials using advanced biological networks or the organs on a chip technique would enable analyzing on hundreds of thousands of drug candidates on billions of virtual human physiological models in seconds with supercomputers. It would make drug discovery faster than ever. DNA cages. Most cancer treatments today destroy not only cancer cells but also healthy ones. The ultimate goal is delivering drugs only to cells that need to be treated. Using DNA cages holding a payload of drugs might be the answer. This method could be used in clinical trials soon. Cancer cells can trigger the DNA cage to open and thus the drug could only make an impact on those cells but not on the healthy ones. Precision surgery. Surgeons using surgical robots such as Da Vinci are capable of performing operations with previously unachievable precision. By making the robot an extension of the surgeon's mind and skills, operating tumors in early stages or tumors in close proximity to sensitive organs might become more feasible than ever. Monitoring and providing care. Cancer patients have to cope with chronic pain and powerful side effects without medical supervision most of the time. New technologies could improve the quality of their lives drastically. Embedded, implanted and digestible sensors. In many cases, measuring health parameters at home would be a huge addition to cancer care. Measuring body temperature, for example, is a key in monitoring the effects of chemotherapy. What if a sensor on the patient's skin could constantly measure body temperature and notify the patient when the fever goes up? Digestible pill cams could be used to perform non-invasive routine checkups on the digestive system, even at home. Implanted sensors and digital tattoos could monitor every important vital sign, triggering an alarm to both the patient and the caregiver, so interventions can be planned as quickly as possible. Measuring lab markers at home. Another important element of cancer care is blood tests. During chemotherapy, blood markers, especially white blood cell count, must be checked routinely to make sure the patient's immune system is still intact. CloudLab plans to roll out a device that would allow patients to check blood cell counts at home. Social media networks. Networking sites such as Smart Patients and Inspire were designed to help patients find and support each other without geographical limitations. These patients can discuss symptoms, offer advice and moral support and help cope with treatment side effects like never before. The feeling of community and seeing others cope with the same hardships can boost not just the mental but the physical well-being of cancer patients as well. Pain management. Cancer and its treatments can induce extreme chronic pain and in the past, cancer patients were relegated to continuous increasing doses of painkillers. Companies are now developing devices that help ease symptoms and side effects. A good example is Squell, a wearable technology with intensive nerve stimulation that is clinically proven to help manage chronic pain. Its use is FDA approved during the day while the patient is active as well as at night during sleep. All these technologies show amazing promise and some of them are already in use. We need to keep on pushing the limits to get to the stage where the diagnosis of cancer is not a life-altering event that often brings an untimely end to a patient's life, but at least a manageable chronic condition. Thank you. Keep watching my videos to learn more about the future of medicine and stay up to date about the upcoming trends by reading my blog.